way that this should be happening in Connecticut in 2021. There's no way. Getting louder right now for some action at an Amazon construction site in Windsor. After another noose was found today, the NAACP wants more to be done by police and even Amazon until authorities can find whoever is doing this. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson has more about where the investigation now stands. And we are sick and tired of what's going on here at this Amazon construction site. Frustration and demands for accountability from the NAACP and local leaders today after an eighth noose was found on this Windsor Amazon construction site. Here's a picture. Windsor police say a worker found it mixed in and entangled with electrical cords used for site lighting. We do have leads that we are following up on. We do have investigative leads. Again, uh, you know, the FBI has been working hand in hand with us. Police say several interior cameras have been recently installed but haven't been activated yet. They also say several security officers work on site while construction is happening. The site was shut down today, but police say Amazon plans to reopen tomorrow. But the NAACP and other leaders say more needs to be done before that happens. The last time we were here, we had members of the state chief's attorney's office. And you would think that that would be enough. The NAACP says they're concerned about the safety of workers on site. Windsor Council member Nushet Blackburk is asking for the site to remain shut down until the culprits are caught. She's also calling for national Amazon leaders to meet with Windsor leaders. You have disrupted our quality of life by the actions that are happening here on this site. This level of intimidation here in my town, it's unacceptable, it's disgusting. The reward for identifying suspects has increased to $100,000. Amazon has issued a statement saying in part, we will continue to work with all levels of law enforcement as well as our development partners to hold the perpetrators accountable and ensure that all members of our community feel valued, respected, and safe. Sharon Johnson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.